what's up and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be giving a review for the film kidnap now the star is Holly berry and it is about a mother whose son has been abducted by some strange kidnappers and she has to pursue the kidnappers in order to retrieve her son back you know basically to get her son back now i thought this film it, it started off pretty good you know it was like very entertaining you know it was kind of like a lot of stuff that was going on was kind of like unbelievable and like kind of far-fetched you know but then once it got kind of like towards, like I guess you could say about almost kind of close to the end, not necessarily like halfway, but kind of close to the end, I feel like it just kind of like fell apart and then it got kind of like, like over the top, you know. But overall, I thought it was still like an entertaining movie. It's like non-stop, like, like a thrill chase ride, you know, with Holly Berry chasing these like, uh, the, the captors of our son, basically. And it's like non-stop, you know, like the whole movie itself is like her just like constantly like chasing them throughout throughout the whole movie, you know. It's even kind of funny at times, and it's not trying to be funny, but just like the idea that a mother would go to this lynx, you know, to save her child. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Now this film is directed by uh, a Lewis, I think, Pryto. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Now it stars Holly Berry in the role of, um, I forgot what the uh, yeah, Carla Dyson. She plays uh, Carla Dyson, who's like the protagonist of the film. Now, Carla Dyson is like a waitress who is working at like a, a restaurant or something like that. That's when the film opens. So once she leaves work, she has her son with her. And another thing I thought was kind of interesting was her son was actually with her at her job, you know. So they actually leave the job, you know, then they go off to the park, you know. And her son is known as uh, Frankie Dyson. Yeah, Frankie, because she kept calling him Frank, like Frankie, Frankie. Throughout the movie, you know, he's played by a... Uh, I think Sage Carora, I think that's how I pronounce his name. I'm not really too familiar with that actor. So they both go to the park and this is where her son is actually kidnapped by some some abductors, you know. And they, they never really go into detail who these kidnappers are. You don't really get to see them that much, you know. Like once you get later in the film, you get to see who they were, you know, how they look and who they were, you know. But they don't really go into like detail about why they're doing this and so on, you know. Apparently they're trying to, they're, they're trying to hold her son for like ransom or something like that. Cause there's all like moment, there are moments in the film where Holly Berry's like talking to like like I think lawyers or something, and I think that could fire like the husband, her husband or something like that. He wants custody over over Frankie, her son, you know, their son, and there's something like going on with that, you know. So you would think at one point, you know, that it's something like with the father or something like that, but I don't want to touch on it because it kind of spoils, you know. But overall, I thought this film like it, it was like entertaining, you know, like like I said, it was like nonstop chasing, you know, with her chasing the pursuers, you know. I mean, not the pursuers, but the captors, you know. It's like it's like nonstop the whole movie, you know. They're like on like freeways, the interstate, they go all through like woods and all kind of like, kind of like rural areas and stuff. And she's constantly after these people, you know. They even they be, they even throw out her, not throw out her son, but they like hang Frankie out the car, let us see, like hey, you know, we're gonna cut his throat. They even had like a knife around his head, like around his throat at one point, like they were gonna cut his head, you know. And she kept falling, you know, so she actually had to turn off, you know. But then she came back and continued to to, to chase them, you know. But yeah, uh, like I say, like at times it could be kind of like far fetched and like over the top, you know, because of the things that Holly Berry, her character, was doing, you know, like I think Carla, you know, the stuff she was doing was just like over the top, you know, and then she would actually go to that length, you know. You know, most people, they their kids were kidnapped or anything like that, they probably just let it go, you know, but she actually just take, she's even actually even able to, like, to take other people's vehicles or try to take other people's vehicles to pursue these people, you know. So I thought I just went, I went too far, you know. That's what made it kind of like funny to a certain extent. <laughs> Plus the way how she's like tense and scared and stuff, I thought that was kind of funny. And I thought she did kind of good in her performance too, Holly Berry and her role. I thought she did a pretty good job. Even the boy who played her son, Sage, you know, who played Frankie, I thought he was good in his, his performance too as well. Now overall, I kind of want to give this a B minus, but then I kind of want to give it a C. So I'm still kind of on the fence about what kind of rating to give this shit though. But I think I'm going to just give some B minus, you know. So this will be my review for a kidnap, and I recommend it for like uh, fans of these kind of like films, you know, like these chase films or like kidnapping films or so on. I would recommend it for that crowd, you know. So I'm giving a kidnap. I'm giving this a B minus. Please comment and subscribe too as well.